Don't let the video screens and computer terminals fool you. I'm flesh and blood. Surely you know that I am Robert Edwin House, President, CEO, and sole proprietor of the new Vegas Strip. You are the first person to step foot inside the Lucky 38 in over 200 years. As magnificent as today's strip may seem, it's but a shadow of the neon paradise that was Las Vegas. I grew up not far from here, and though I traveled the old world extensively, I never found another place like it. By 2065, I deemed it a mathematical certainty that an atomic war would devastate the Earth within 15 years. I knew I couldn't save the world, nor did I care to, but I could save Vegas, and in the process, perhaps save mankind. I oversaw the city's renovations starting from 2274 onward. They come to Vegas chasing penny-ante dreams of high living, to feel like they're big shots, like they're winners. New Vegas is more than a city. It's the remedy to mankind's derailment. The city's economy is a blast furnace in which can be forged the steel of a new rail line running straight to a new horizon. Give me 20 years and I'll reignite the high technology development sectors. 50 years and I'll have people in orbit. 100 years and my colony ships will be heading for the stars to search for planets unpolluted by the wrath and folly of a bygone generation. I would rule as the chief executive. I would not answer to a board of directors or any other entity. Nothing to impede progress. If you want to see the fate of democracies, look out the windows. But autocracy? Firm control in the hands of a technological and economic visionary? Yes, that Vegas shall have. Walk away if you want, but if you do, he's going up on a cross.